This breed bit the hand of Hitler and lived to tell the tale. There was an order to destroy all of these dogs. Fortunately, the Bouvier breed survived. It's the Bouvier de Flanders. Yep, it's a fancy name, and this breed has kept up with some fancy company. President Reagan did have a Bouvier. Jackie O had one of these dogs as a child. Her maiden name, after all, was Bouvier. This breed has rubbed elbows with such Hollywood brass as Warren Beatty, Diane Keaton, and Goldie Hawn. Bouviers might have a white collar name, but it's a blue collar dog. Bouvier actually means cow chasing in French. Belgian monks first bred the Bouvier as a large working dog during the 19th century. These dogs also proved to be useful on the battlefields during both world wars, pulling ambulances and finding injured soldiers. Bouviers have a very strong work ethic. You won't see these canines on the battlefield anymore, but if you do happen to spot one, there are a few telltale features that you can't miss. First is this pooch's distinctive facial hair. They have this sort of mustache and long beard arrangement. The upright docked tail was historically cropped to protect the dog's tail from injury during its course of everyday work. The Bouvier has a large body. It stands over two feet at the shoulder and weighs over 100 pounds. But it's that same body and working nature that has gotten some Bouviers into a little hot water. In 1985, a puppy named Lucky came to the Reagan White House. And the Reagans loved it and said, this will be the perfect White House pet. Little did the president and first lady realize that this adorable ball of fuzz was going to grow up to become an 80-pound pulling machine. Every time they took her out, she was pulling Mrs. Reagan and the president around. If you are busy being the president of America, you are probably too busy to raise and train a Bouvier properly. Lucky's most infamous pulling incident, tugging President Reagan across the White House lawn in front of Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Lucky spent the rest of her days on the Reagan Ranch in California. Along with being energetic, Bouviers have a reputation for being dedicated to their work and fiercely loyal to their owners. Bouviers need training, but beware, they are independent workers, so training can be difficult. The Bouvier has a beautiful, thick double coat that needs constant attention to avoid matting. Living an average of 10 to 12 years, the Bouvier has a lengthy lifespan for a large dog. But like many big breeds, the Bouvier is prone to some health issues. Bouviers can be predisposed to hip dysplasia, glaucoma, thyroid disease, and even heart murmurs. The Bouvier is a working dog with lots of energy, so apartment life is not an option. The Bouvier is not for the novice, and due to its protective nature, might be a little standoffish with strangers. It probably wouldn't be the best dog if you're a first-time dog owner. So for the most part, the Bouvier de Flanders is a working dog that needs space to explore. They live a long time, but like most large breeds, have some health issues. Brushing three times a week and frequent visits to the groomer are a must. Training can be tough, so be diligent and start early. The Bouvier is a serious dog for a serious owner. If you're willing to put in the time, the Bouvier de Flanders will be a loyal, protective friend for life.